Hello everyone, welcome back to all of you in the Smelly Army. So today we're going to be having a look at five fragrances that I really think you need to try. Before we do that, as I've mentioned a few times recently, we do need to try and generate some income on my channel now. And for that reason, we're going to be putting a couple of adverts at the beginning of the videos. Therefore, I will be back right after these messages. Hello, I am Sasha Distel. They asked me to try Mundate and now I wear it all the time because it's sophisticated, long-lasting, and very sexy. Mundate speaks my language. Mundate says what I want to say. And when I'm relaxing, need I say more? It's all right, it's in my way. Mundate says a lot for a man. High karate aftershave. Use too much and you're asking for trouble because just one whiff drives women wild. Ha! It makes men irresistible. Ha! Fortunately, every pack of high karate ha! contains essential instructions on self-defense. High karate aftershave. Be careful how you use it. Hello, yes, welcome back. So let's get into the video today. Uh, the video is sponsored by my friends over at Fragrance Samples UK and you can uh, sample all of these fragrances from their website, all of the five that I'm going to mention, and a range of, I think, over 600 other fragrances. Fantastic array of niche fragrances from the big houses like Amouage, Tom Ford, etc, etc, um, Roger Dove, those kind of people. Also, uh, quite a few designer fragrances in there too, and even some discontinued scents. So, really, really great place to sample fragrances wherever you are in the world. They ship worldwide if you're in the UK or 14 other EU countries, which will come up as options if you, uh, when you get to check out, then you simply order through their website. If you're not in one of those countries, you can just email them at info at fragrancesamplesuk.com and they will get those orders out to you. And the link to the website is in the description of this video. The other big thing that you need to know about is they have a 20% off sale the day that this video is going up, Friday the 29th of November, and on Saturday the 30th, you get 20% off everything on their entire store for Black Friday, of course, and the code there is BF2019. So it's a great time to snap up some of the ones I'm going to mention or their other huge array of the, the really talked about fragrances and some obscure ones that uh, the fragrance community are usually keen to sample. So let's get stuck into my list for today. Five great fragrances that I think you guys out there need to sample in probably four of the cases I really like them and I just I want you to sample them because they're really good and not mega hyped so maybe you haven't heard about them and I'm hoping to share that information with you the other one is talked about a hell of a lot but I get the feeling not that many people have actually tried it so I think that's something you might want to put right so let's do it in a kind of random order uh, the first one I want to talk about is this one here and this is musk cologne from the house of Bortnikov so Bortnikov fragrances are made by a man called Dmitry Bortnikov. I think he's based in Thailand, originally Russian. And they have, a, I'm really going to say, kind of the whole range that you can find there on Fragrance Samples UK, well worth uh, sampling. But I'm going to just focus on this one today in the video, Musk Cologne. I think this was a 2019 release. And I have a little card actually with the notes on it. The really amazing thing about these guys is they use a lot of very, very rare, hard to find ingredients. And the ingredients that you really, uh, first of all, they're very, very natural and you, you rarely find them in perfumes this day, uh, in this day and age. This fragrance musk cologne then has notes of bergamot, lemon, tangerine and sweet orange in the top. In the heart we have green tea, lily of the valley, magnolia, tuberose and ylang lang. In the base we have carb. Barga deer musk, that's real deer musk, very rare to find that in a fragrance, Indian sandalwood and guyac wood. So this is, you know, everyone who watches my channel a lot knows I really do like citrus fragrances. This has superbly juicy effervescent citrus notes in the uh, the opening. The floral notes in the middle really smell, you, you visualize the actual petals of these flowers from which they've distilled the essences and they are really, really vibrant, alive, it smells like flowers in nature, it's beautiful stuff. And in the base, of course, you've got this deer musk, and there's this kind of subtly sultry, sexy undertone to the fragrance that I could have something to do with that real natural deer musk. And they're using Indian sandalwood, again, not something you find every day in a fragrance, and guyac wood for a rather 
a traditional couple of bass notes that work beautifully well. Fantastically long lasting, very artistic stuff, but very, very wearable and a real fantastic kind of mixture of citrus, musks and florals for an absolutely exquisite fragrance, which I really, really enjoy. Uh, not just a citrus aromat aromatic at all, but uh, I guess the musk cologne gives you an idea and a mixture of eau de cologne style freshness there are a lot of floral notes and there's this fantastic sultry real deer musk note in the base exquisite stuff and one of the hyped houses actually uh, in the in the no part of fragcom i think this year but not not one you hear tons about on uh, the, the in, in the youtube videos just yet but hopefully we'll see more of them as uh, they get the recognition they deserve so definitely worth getting a sample of that one from fragrance samples uk now for something completely different and this is Caron Pour un Homme de Caron, released first in 1934, many, many years ago. And this is an exquisite and classic and quintessential lavender fragrance, kind of a gentlemanly barbershop style scent, I guess you could say. And I really just think a lot of people talk about many of the reference points in perfumery and big fragrances over the years, but this one doesn't seem to get mentioned as often as it should. It's, it's a superb reference point, gentlemanly lavender fragrance. Actually, a woman could probably wear it too, I think. Notes in this one include lavender, vanilla, musk, rosemary, uh, bergamot, lemon, rose, clary, sage. It depends which website you go, on, you go on, actually, but Base Notes has a long note listing. It certainly is a lavender bomb, so you've got to love lavender. It has a slightly green kind of citrus element to it as well and a beautiful smooth muskiness with this little hint of a, a kind of powdery sweetness and a really, really exquisite fragrance. Uh, one of those that you don't always see in your local store to have a try of. Great that Fragrance Samples UK stock this one actually and it would be, it's not the kind of thing you necessarily want to blind by because not everyone's going to, some people might find it a bit stuffy and old fashioned but definitely I think if you're into fragrances and, and particularly if you like classic stuff you really ought to try this one and I was cross with myself for leaving it so long until I did. When I did I liked it and picked up a full bottle. So that's the next one on my list. Now then on to the controversial one I guess and I'm going to put in the list Office for Men from Jeremy Fragrance's band, Brand, uh, Brand, which is of course called Fragrance One. So this one was released I think, this year in 2019, it actually came out in the end, and it was of course launched by a Kickstarter campaign. Lots of people talk about it and go on about why the bottle isn't very good, why it's a synthetic mess, why it's, you know, a lot of people slag it off. I just get the feeling a lot of people don't like that Jeremy's uh, channel is really huge and he's a bit of a hyping things kind of got him. He's a very powerful YouTube influencer basically and people think well it's all hype where's the substance this fragrance. It was made by Alberto Marias. You may not want to go and pay the relatively expensive price for a full bottle but I think it, you know it's fun to have a sample and talk about it with your other fragrance friends hence a sample would be a great thing to get from Fragrance Samples UK. Some of the notes on this one include bergamot and broxen, some stranger uh, synthetic notes like cashelox, intense modern wood accord, uh, pink pepper is in there. There's a bit of iris. It's very very sharp. It's very Citrusy and a kind of shower gel aura about it. It smells a little bit in the ballpark perhaps of Bleu de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, Aventus even a little bit. I said once if you mixed all three of them in a, a decant and sprayed it you might get something like this. I'm not saying it's the best thing since sliced bread but I think it would be fun to get yourself five or ten mil and see what you think even if you're going to trash it on Facebook forums or write a review on base notes fun fragrance to try and i don't go around slagging it off unless you've tried it people so give it a go moving on then uh we're gonna we've got just two left and here's one that you rarely see here mentioned or see on youtube and this is eight and bob by e sorry no it's not eight and bob by egypt it's egypt by eight and bob i have a sample here that i was actually given years ago uh, so they come in very nice plastic atomizers from fragrance samples uk which is actually a little bit better because they don't get I'm, I'm quite clumsy so this will probably get dropped on my kitchen floor one day and broken but the the fragrance samples uk one pump out tons of juice and it's very safe when you have a, a plastic atomizer so this is a really really interesting spicy masculine fragrance uh, it, egypt is a little bit if you think it's going to be ultra exotic or have loads of incense it doesn't really have that i've got some on here and i've also got the notes written down oh it's lovely uh, so note listing for eight and bob by e uh, for egypt by eight and bob is lavender moss lemon cardamom nutmeg sandalwood patchouli and leather uh, i get almost a slight boozy twist as well it's very very spicy somewhat sweet 
and with an almost kind of old school masculine. Some people say barbershop, but I think it's more of a, there's a hint of leathery masculine 70s style fragrances in there a bit, but a, a little bit more of a kind of niche style spiciness. Almost to me, I don't know where I'm getting it from, a boozy quality about it. And I really find it would be a great grown up signature scent for a well-dressed gentleman. Aiton Bob Egypt. I need to get a bottle of this. It's great, great stuff. Unsung kind of fragrance. Some people don't seem to love it as much as me, so the, hence getting that sample would be the, the best way to decide what you think. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried that one. You don't, don't, don't hear a lot about it. I think maybe Max Forty reviewed it a while back. Last but not least then, relatively new release and well done to Fragrance Samples UK for already making samples available. And this is Milano Shento Him, the Eau de Parfum. So I've kind of championed the EDT, the Eau de Toilette, which you can also uh, sample on their website. But Eau de Parfum is the new version. A slightly different color box, but not much. And you can just see that it says Eau de Parfum there, where it normally says Eau de Toilette. The bottle's exactly the same, apart from the sticker on the bottom. It's the same note listing as the original, which I won't go through all of them, but you've got some bergamot. There's a uh, rosemary in there, I think. There's a little spiciness, there's cloves, there's patchouli, there's lavender, it's a very barbershop-ish smell. There's tonka bean, and it's a very kind of fresh, yet not not mega citrusy, more of a kind of shaving foam masculine vibe, a little bit of a fougere royale from Hubigant type of vibe, that kind of thing, but it's got its own wonderful character. The Eau de Parfum version then really takes the same note listing, the same DNA, and just enriches it really. It's, it's a traditional way of doing an Eau de Parfum like the, you know, when you used to have, still do I guess, Chanel number no. five Eau de Toilette or the Eau de Parfum. It's kind of very, very similar but just a little bit more rich and unctuous in the Eau de Parfum. So maybe for day where you may think that the, the Eau de Toilette is gonna be fine, a little bit fresh, doesn't last quite as long as this one. This has a higher concentration of fragrance oil. I uh, don't know what they do in terms of, do they just put more oil in it? Maybe a little bit more to it than that because I get a little bit more of the smooth base notes, the patchouli, the tonka bean in the base, and a little bit less of the kind of soapy freshness in the opening. Really, really fantastic. Good, good performance on this one. And uh, all of the fragrances actually in today's video are very good in performance. Office for Men, whether you like it or not, is a beast. Eight and Bobby, Egypt, maybe just okay. Caron, Poiron, de Caron, watch out, I find that really strong. And the Bortnikov, pretty much a beast mode. So Milano, Shento, him, the older parfum, very excited that you can now get that one. Definitely worth checking it out. Get yourself a sample, see if it's worth investing in a full bottle. So guys, let me know what fragrances you think people out there should sample. Uh, maybe ones that are lesser talked about. I think it's always interesting to share some of those. That's what we're, that's what we're all here for. Uh, so go ahead, the link's in the description for Fragrance Samples UK. Head on over there, check out their fantastic sale with a 20% off with the code BF2019. You've only got today when I upload this Friday and Saturday the 30th of November to do it. So don't waste any time. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. Bye bye.